さまざまな事情により。Cheers from Japan, I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard, and、uh, due to popular requests, I will be going to Big Camera behind me. Thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Toy Poloi for requesting this episode. And、uh, yeah, so let's go inside and see what they got. Follow me. So today's a much,、uh, much nicer day than it was last Saturday. So there's a lot more people outside today, but still, compared to a normal Saturday, far, far less. But yeah, last week was pretty, it was pretty eerie since there was no one outside. And yeah, this big camera was closed、uh, for quite a while, so I was surprised that it was open last weekend when I saw it. So I think it's just got shorter hours, but their、uh, competitor has been open across the street, so that's probably not helped. So I assume they've、uh, opened back up、um, to、uh, get some business since their competitor was getting business. And、uh, they also do have a lot of things that are essential. Uh, like essential electronics like lights and、uh, chargers, and they sell some, some kinds of food items here, but it's mostly electronics. And there just happens to be a toy floor inside, so let's go see the toy floor. Gonna make our way past the bikes to get to the main toy section. Let's see. Got a m p a m a n flying around. Like I said in my last video, a m p a m a n is a big seller for really little kids. So you can see there's an entire row here of all a m p a m a n goods. Is there an assortment of Lika Chan dolls, which I also showed、uh, at Don Quixote. But this place is a lot more well lit, so you can see them a bit better here, I think. I didn't realize there were this many varieties with like, different hair and stuff. I always thought it was just one, one doll in her family. But... A lot of different varieties of Lika Chan, which is、uh, made by Takara, Takara Tomi. It's basically the Barbie of Japan. It's been around since the 70s. Very hot seller. The Sylvania family's over here, which I talked about in one of my other videos. Let's get out of the little, little, little kitty and girly section, find some action. We've got our Ultraman section. An assortment of Ultraman action figures and soft vinyl toys. They have a lot more, it seems, than、uh, Don Quixote did. And they're all,、um, they're all about the same price, about five bucks. They're pretty small. These are cool for kids to play with, very durable. If anyone lets,、uh, wants some of these little guys, let me know. I don't mind to pick some up. And on this side, we've actually got a lot more Godzilla than、um, Don Quixote had. So we've got Millennium Godzilla, Space Godzilla. Burning Godzilla, Shin Godzilla, the animated Godzilla, and then hey, look, got a Gamera, which I,、uh, I reviewed recently. Check out that video.、Uh, got Mecha Godzilla, the Millennium version, Destroya, Mogura, Gigan. I forgot this guy's name, but he's from the animated movie.、Uh, let's see over here, we got Radon, or Rodan as you know him. Two different kinds Mothra, Gigan. You got the little Chibi, Mothra, Godzilla, and King Ghidorah. We got some Gegege no Kitaro guys. These are cool. And、uh, wow, a lot more Gameras in the Shin Chan. A lot more Gameras. We got Bailantes. I gave my Bailante, or my son's Bailante. Me and my son gave our shared Bailante to、uh, my nephew, so I might have to pick up another one of these at some point. 
got Mecha Godzilla. Oh, sorry, Mecha Godzilla. Mecha King Ghidorah. Sorry. We've got the 2019 version of King Ghidorah. We've got some uh, some of the other forms of Shin Godzilla. More Gameras. Man, I wish I would have came here to buy the Gameras when <laughs> I picked up a bunch because I overpaid for sure. Uh, they've got them a lot cheaper here. Uh, I've got Larva Mothra, Bangiris, and some of the animated series, King Ghidorah. So yeah, a huge Godzilla uh, movie monsters selection here. So yeah, definitely a win for those. All right, I'm not really into Pokemon, but this is the Pokemon section. I know a lot of you guys are into Pokemon, so I figured I'd show you what they got here. I know who Pikachu is. I know Charizard and Mewtwo, and I think that's about it. But my students that I teach are really into Pokemon. My kids are semi into Pokemon, not as much as a lot of other kids here, but it's still very popular in Japan, as I know it is throughout the rest of the world. So here you go. Here's what a Japanese department store has in Pokemon. And on this side, we got some Mario stuff. Let's take a look. I do like Mario a bit better. It's some kind of Mario coin game. Oh, it's like a coin pusher game. That's kind of cool. 26 bucks. Interesting. It's some Mario action figures. Mario Kart, some plush. We got some more games. These games are kind of fun. Huh. Whoa. I'm kind of tempted to try one of these. Let's see, what does the back show? Does it show up, does it demonstrate how this works? Do they sell these in the US? Or in the UK or anywhere else other than Japan? Seems like a very Japanese thing. I'm sure kids would rather just be playing the actual video games, but for people that like old school games like Mousetrap and stuff, like this looks like a lot of fun. There's even a little miniature version. Whoa, okay. I might have to pick up one of these and do a re review. Uh, if I happen not to pick one up, let me know if you'd, if you'd like to see me review one of these smaller sets. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I might have to grab that. We'll see. I'll come back. Uh, we got Doraemon. I talked a lot about Doraemon in my last video. Oh, we've even got some... Uh, oh, we saw these two at, at the la on the last video. No price on them, though. These were, these were fairly cheap at Don Quixote, these uh, crane game Pokemon. There's yet another Mario Deluxe game system. And we got some Pokemon games. Some more Pokemon stuff. Alright, let's keep going. Here's the, the Super Sentai, aka Power Ranger display. A lot more stuff here than Don Quixote had. Got something coming soon. Don't know what that is. I also don't know much about Power Rangers Super Sentai. It's very colorful and cool though. I just missed the Power Ranger explosion. I was just just a bit too old when it came out on TV. Naz, you must have been too old too, but I guess you, were, you, you didn't care. <laughs> I was more interested in Jurassic Park. I had a big Jurassic Park collection when uh, Power Rangers was on TV. Let's see, you got some more stuff over here too. We got Common Rider in here. Close to me, really. We got some more Common Rider stuff. Common Rider is similar. I guess it's more like Sentai infused with like something like Ultraman. A lot of more, a lot more Bandai monsters. Uh, not monsters. Actually, I don't see any monsters for Common Rider. It's all just different kinds of Common Rider. Which one do you think is the coolest one? I really like the old school Common Rider. I don't see any of those in here. Hmm. I keep seeing this one around. I kind of like that one. Thomas. Okay, so I, I actually saw these last weekend when I popped in here for a moment and I posted them on the uh, Evangelion Collectors group that I run. But these are ginormous, like four or five foot tall uh, 
entry plugs, inflatable entry plugs. Uh, and they are uh, 15 to 20 bucks depending on the conversion rate. And they've got unit one, Shinji's, unit zero with Ray, and unit two with Asuka. I like Asuka's the best. Hers has the best design. It's tempting, but what, what the hell am I going to do with that? I have no space for it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got these little puzzle guys. These Rubik's. They're made by Rubik's. Uh, Rubik's puzzles. They probably have these in the U.S. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume they do. Let's see what else we got. Here we go. Got some Diaclone. Uh, these are the newer Diaclone series. If you're not familiar with Diaclone, it was one of the um, early action figure lines, robot action figure lines from the 70s that Takara created alongside of Microman, which both together became uh, Transformers as we know them now. But they've redone them and in, in, they're kind of pricey. This is like 175 bucks for this set. But they're kind of cool, but they've also got Transformers that we have paired with them, so yeah. A lot, of, a lot of these modern Transformers, which you can probably find in the U.S. But can you find these Diaclone sets in the U.S.? I'm curious. Also, here's a uh, display for Transformers. There's some old school style commercials. For the new line, though. Alright, Transformers is not my thing either. We got Star Wars. This is the Star Wars section on this side. A lot of the same stuff you can see in the US, so I'm really not gonna show you anything unless it's something something super Japanese that you can't see in the US or the UK. You can see all this in the US and UK. I'm gonna change to somewhere else. We have the new Evangelion Evolution figures. It's a nice figure. A little pricey. I'm not gonna spend that much for it. Uh, we got some assemble borgs here. These are made by Rebel Tech. I don't know if you've ever seen these. Uh, I see these like used all the time in used shops for pretty cheap. But there's different like expansion packs and figures, and they're interchangeable. These are kind of cool. Uh, I don't own any, but I always kind of check them out. This looks like a a, a series onto itself. There's there's a whole different kind of figures. I'll show some in another video when I find some more. Uh, we got a bunch of Gundams up here. Gundams, Gundams, Gundams. And then on this side, we've got some SH Figure Arts Ultraman. And some other characters that I'm not familiar with. A lot of Ultraman SH, uh, SH uh, Figure Arts. And we've got uh, some Street Fighter SH Figure Arts. Tamashi Nations, Display Bandai Tamashi Nations. Big old titties. Let's see what else. I kind of like this one. If it wasn't 45, I'd go for it. I have started to collect more of the modern action figures and stuff. I didn't used to, but you know, there's been so much good stuff that's been coming out. For example, this Bulma. I don't own this yet, but I really want it. And they've got a ton of them. I'm just going to wait for it to get marked down. We have Vegeta. Got some Sailor Moons in here. And some more Pokemon SH figure arts. Hey, I know this one. I know this one. Check it out. Dragon Radar. Replica. Oh, sorry. Proplica. It really lights up. 25 bucks. Mm. I don't know if it's worth 25, but it's pretty cool. I'll try to find some more Dragon Ball stuff for this video. I, I got some complaints. There was not as much Dragon Ball in the last one. Sorry guys. This is kind of cool. I don't like Gundam that much either, but I do like the original uh, designs. So that's a cool figure. Some more Gundam dudes. There's a lot of Gundam stuff on this wall here. I can't really squeeze in to film at all. Frame Arms Girl. I'm not familiar, but it's like Hawaii girls decked out in like mech gear. Interesting. I bet that sells well here. Let's see, we've got some examples. This definitely is uh, very Japanese. <laughs> oh wow, this mech's kind of cool. That one's kind of cool. I wouldn't mind having like a ghost in the shell one, kind of like that. 
Hey, we've got a, um, oh gosh, what's this called? I know this one. Ah, uh, man, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen, uh, seen it. That's a cool little figure, though. That's pretty rad. Got uh, modern Ultraman, the modern Gundamese. Just lots of boxes. It's kind of sensory overload in here. Some JoJo dudes. Oh, sorry, my finger's in the way. I know JoJo's got a big fan base outside of Japan. Not a lot of JoJo stuff here. It just looks like a few things. Um, whatever that is. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right over here is like the candy toy miniature figure section. And they've got the uh, the new Akira uh, series, which I bought like an entire case of the first series. I didn't buy any of this, the other two. But I haven't seen this one yet, so I would love to have that Kaneda or that Tetsuo. But as I discovered last time, even after buying an entire case, the one I wanted the most was not necessarily included. So, yeah, I'm not going to waste my money on it again. Here's some more Dragon Ball, as promised. Uh, Dragon Ball Battle Versus series. This is one of the newer Versus series, which are also sold in Gashapon machines, but you can buy them in boxes here too. For 300 yen. Here's some more verses. Super Saiyan 4. Uh, I guess this is from Heroes. I'm not very familiar with all the Heroes stuff. This is that older one, I believe. And yeah, some of that stuff. Mm, anything else interesting over here as far as candy toys go? I don't see anything in particular that is calling my name. See this, I got some mini kits. No, no, nothing good today. Okay, some more Dragon Ball for you. So these are the, uh, the figure eyes kits. Um, and they've also just put out these newer ones that are uh, entry grade, they're more simplified and they don't, uh, they're not articulated. They just snap together. Uh, they're really cheap. So if they were slightly articulated, I'd pick some up. They do kind of remind me of the older 90s kits and stuff, but these other ones are highly articulated. They're pretty cool. I didn't see this Bardak one. This must be new. That's pretty cool. I like Bardock, especially the old school Bardock. Got a bunch of characters here. We've got some Dr. Slump. A rolling in a robot. Retro style kits. Uh, these are Gundam. I like these. I like the artwork on these. And only for, for 200 yen? It's kind of cool. Hmm. That's something I also potentially pick up, even though I'm not a Gundam guy. A lot more figure eyes. Let's see. What are these guys. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this series. We get a bunch of these. Hmm. And we've got some more mech, mech girls. Variable fighter girls. Okay. Okay, this is definitely cool. SD, super deformed, Gundam, cross silhouette, optional parts. So I assume these are translucent or they're cross sections. Cross silhouette, so maybe they're just translucent with parts inside that you can see. I'm not entirely sure. That's what it looks like. I'll have to look more into that. These are kind of neat. I'm getting more into kit building, so anytime I see a cool kit like that. Got some more Evangelion kits. Let's see what we got. I got some of the vintage kits that are being reissued. I've been a reissue. They've been selling these forever, for ages. Still hold up to this day. And we got some of the newer kits. Which, uh, I own this one. I already have it built don't have that one I do need I do need this mass production Eva unit mm. and I need uh, unit 3 I've got the rest of them already built got some Noska some 
Nosca. Some more Ava, not Ava, uh, Ghibli, Ghibli kits. No, uh, no robot. That's the robot from Lapita. Got this one. I don't see the Lapita robot though. That's the only one I'd really, really be interested in trying to buy and build. Oh well. Mega size. Oh man, I wish they had a Ava one of these. Not a bad price for a mega size kit. Let's see, let's take a look at some more of these Gundam kits. Again, I don't know anything about these guys. I'm just gonna show you. I know that that's Zaku, I think. One of the types of Zaku. That one's kind of cool. So is that one. Don't know their names. And over here we got a whole bunch of more model kits. And we got up here on the TV. Some SD robot neck. Okay. Not familiar with this one. I'm playing soccer. Next, playing soccer. Okay. The Gunbuster. Got some old school robots down here from Getter. I do like these old school robot designs. I like the Nagai Go robot designs. Well, here, speaking of that, uh, got a big Mazinger. It's a huge box. That's a bit more expensive than the gun on one. We got some, uh, some new Ava stuff down here. The uh, NX Edge style. Not a fan of these. But it's cool though. It's translucent, dark, dark translucent, purple. We've also got these Evangelion uh, battlefield figures. Seven bucks a pop. They're blind boxes. I think it's stupid. You have to buy this expensive like controller. Yeah, this thing. You have to buy, this is kind of cool, it's like a bust, yeah, you can see it here, it's like a bust of uh, Ava Unit 1 and then have got Ava Unit 0, you put the figures on them and then you do like a game on your iPhone, but you gotta spend, you know, a bunch of money just to play it, might as well, they could have just made a, a fucking game, like that you can actually buy and play, like on a console, seems like a lot of extra stuff, and then you use blind boxes, you could buy three of them and get the same character, so they think it's stupid, and it's definitely not selling very well. Someone bought one. Every time I've seen these displayed, no one's bought them. Some more SH figure arts. Let's see what's on this one. So this is rather interesting. They've usually got all these games here, like Dragon Ball Heroes and Gundam. These are all card games, interactive games, but they are all shut down because they don't want pe people touching them and uh, infecting each other. So I actually haven't been by the game centers, but I'm assuming they are all shut down too. Let's see, are they all the games on this side shut down too? Yep, those are all shut down too. And they've even turned all the Gashapon machines inside out so no one can touch the Gashapon machines. Man, can't even do Gashapon. This is crazy. Yeah, these are all Gashapon machines too. All turned around backwards so that you can't play them anymore. Well, at least they've got the uh, box option for some of them. All right, we got more Gundam over here. Gundam everywhere. Gundam, 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 Gundam. I think it's enough Gundam. I'm sick of seeing Gundam now. I showed some of these in my last hunting video. This is a little 3D wooden art uh, dioramas. And they've got more of the Studio Ghibli ones here. These are really cool. Really cool little display pieces. And then down here we got some little minifigures. Whoa, there's a cat bus. Kind of want a cat bus. I've got a bunch of Ghibli stuff somewhere in my house that I bought when my kids were little. Just don't know where they are. Gotta track them down. I do like Ghibli. Here they are for sale in the boxes. You have to put them together. They do look like kind of a pain to put together. 20 to... 15 bucks a piece for these guys. 
The little minifigures. Oh, here we go. No more cat bus, it looks like. They got Gigi, Totoro. I like the little Totoro. Kurokurosuke. I've got one, I've got like a fuzzy one of these somewhere. And I've got a, I've got a vintage Gigi plush somewhere. Okay, here we go. So these are actually 3D jig, jigsaw puzzles. So they've got no face. And they do have a uh, cat bus. Uh, 20 bucks. And I've got a big Totoro. Um, kind of don't want to put it together, but hmm, I don't know if I want it that bad. We'll see. Got some more Ghibli miniature toys. Oh wow, these are pullback cars. I do collect pullback cars. We got a pullback Totoro. Why is he not in the... Oh, he's in the cat bus. It's a cat bus pullback. Cool. What's this? Porco Rosso? It's one of the Ghibli airplanes. Got Totoro in a train. Whoa! We got one of the dudes from Nosca. Ah, oh, that's awesome. But oh, it's 20. Oh, I kind of really want that. Mmm. Mmm. Stop, Jeremy. You shouldn't spend that much. I have to go back to those, like, $2 kits. Oh, we got some more uh, candy toys. These are all look like they're geared towards littler, smaller kids. 3D puzzles and whatnot. We got Sky Tree, Tokyo Tower. These are kind of cool. Candy cool. And over here we've got a sumo. It looks like he's farting or something because like his back flaps flying up. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I did I did talk about my distaste for nano blocks though in the last video, so. Just found the Zoid section I passed over. I do know that some of you guys like Zoids. Not I. This is a cool display with this flashing LED. What have you. So yeah, that's a Zoids display. Let's see if there's anything else left in here that I haven't covered. I might as well show you the video game section since, uh, yeah, I'm here. Show you what a video game display looks like here. I think a lot of people are probably buying video games. Oh, is there? That was Guillermo del Toro there for a second. I guess he's in that game. Okay. So here's the top three sellers here for PS4. Uh, was it Shinmu? Seven. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which I'm waiting. Hopefully, gets ported to Switch because I don't own a PS4. My son really wants to play that. And whatever this game is, I can't read kanji, so I'm not sure. Wow, these have all been Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Why are all their noses cut off? Seriously. That's weird. Did like someone just come in here one day bored and just cut them all off or did it just happen over time? All every single one of these mannequin heads have their noses cut off. Okay. More games, 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 games. Let's go see the switch section. Ah, uh, but but first, since I know Final Fantasy is big right now that it's come back with the cloud character. Again, I don't know much about Final Fantasy either. I'm not much of a gamer. But here's what their display for it looks like. Oh, and their Call of Duty. Okay. I thought this was all going to be Final Fantasy related. Guess not. Alright, well, we're in the uh, Nintendo section now. You get all your amiibos. Do you guys still use amiibos in the US? Uh, my kids, I made them stop buying them. Got all our Switch games here. Uh, yeah, we have a top a top list here. Let's see if they get a top seller list. Let's go find out. Well, it looks like here the top three seller lists are micro SD cards. I guess because people are running out of space on their small hard drives of their Switches. 
But let's see, we got Pokemon. Ah, this is a, probably a big seller right here. This is for studying. And since all the schools are out, I'm sure any kind of study application are selling well. Luigi's Mansion, of course, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which has been out forever. All these Mario games. Mario does really well here. We got our Lego section over here. Legos are very popular and just as expensive. Probably all the same stuff you guys have back in the US. So I, I talked about like these plastic, uh, these plastic trains and plastic rails, which I kind of dig. And my son used to play with them a lot. A lot of boys like playing with these. This is cool that you can buy like an entire set of a train that you ride on here. That's kind of cool. So like this is the Yamanote line. Do they have a Chuo line? I don't ride the train anymore because of everything that's going on, but I would totally buy a Chuo line. But one thing that they have that's really cool here is they have this awesome display over here that shows what all the different pieces of the rail that you can buy look like when displayed or connected. That's pretty cool. These are a lot of fun to play with. Now we get the Tomika section. Let's take a look at some of the Tomika stuff. They got some cool Disney Tomica cars here. These are kind of cool. These are all Toy Story ones. Whoa! It's a miniature Buzz Lightyear in the Buzz Lightyear packaging. And I assume it rolls. Oh, and you can take Buzz Lightyear out? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. We got an RV with Woody. Okay. Some more Disney related stuff down here. And we got some Snoopy Tomika. Izakuma. Some Pokemon. Oh, that's kind of cool too. I, you know, I'm not a Pokemon guy, but that's kind of neat. And oh, Shin Chan in a pig. Now, I do love me some Shin Chan. Mm. But would I, would I pay almost $8 for that? Maybe not. It is rather red. Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty. Doraemon. Alright guys, I think I'm about done here. Uh, there's a bunch of like baby toys and more girls toys that I'm not going to show, but I think I am going to go back and grab one of those little Mario game sets. So let's, let's go grab one of those. You know, it was cheap. Let me see. Okay, so here it is. Oh, uh, it was actually... A miniature version of the coin pusher game, which looks exciting for a whole three seconds. And this one. This is the one I was thinking about. But mm, looking at it again, it looks like the ball just goes down, rolls around, and it goes in a thing. So, I mean, that's not really that interesting for a video. I don't think my kids would play with this, honestly. I'd play with it like twice. Might be a hard pass. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to come back and pick one of those up and review it. Maybe it'd be better to just spend the extra 10 bucks and do one of the deluxe versions instead. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let me see if there's anything else that I thought I might pick up that I haven't gone back to check. Maybe the model kit section. Let's go back to the model kit section real quick. Okay, look at these again. I just don't want to spend a lot of money on a model kit. Like, I really like the Bardock one. I love the box on this Dr. Slump one. This is cheap, but I really don't care about this robot character. And mm, I'm curious how much paint is required for this one. And I don't think I can even, yeah, it's taped shut, so I can't even tell if it has any paint. I prefer it not to have much paint. I mean, I prefer it to have color, but not a lot of color. But I hate when it's just like all one solid color. I prefer if it's like a couple solid colors for that kind of kit. I really like this Goku, but shouldn't be spending that much money. I really shouldn't. I don't have to think on it. You guys let me know, what should I come back and grab? If they had Goku of this kit, I'd probably buy it. I know uh, Mike Cabrera, you probably want this, don't you? Let me know. We've got these little kits. Uh, I actually have a couple of these. I've got the 
I don't show the other ones, but I've got like a Tommy Sennett's bus. Again, this is a cool box for two bucks. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. I like how I come back and talk myself out of buying things. That's what I, that's what you should do. Everyone should do that. Take my advice. No, Kira. Star Wars, Star Wars. No, thank you. Mmm. Oh, Thomas. Jeremy, put it back, Jeremy. Put it back. Put it back. Come on. Come on, Jeremy. Put it back. Put it back. You don't need it. You don't need it. Put it back. Okay. Cool. Ooh, I got the shakes now. I'm fiending. Gotta walk out here with something. Oh my god. What am I gonna get? Nothing. Go home. <sighs> Made it. Bye bye, toy floor. Made it without purchasing anything. <sighs> now I need to purchase some lunch. See you at lunch.